Uh, hello, uh, I'm Nicholas, Nicholas Reed, and uh, I'm the Bishop of Blackburn, and the Diocese of Blackburn covers pretty well the whole of Lancashire. Uh, we are entitled to call ourselves the Church of England in Lancashire, and so, of course, uh, we cover the whole of Preston. And I always enjoy my visits to Preston, and I'm much looking forward to this year's Preston Guild. Uh, it's a very great honour to be Bishop of Blackburn during the Preston Guild. Uh, many bishops, uh, sadly, have not been around as it only comes every 20 years. Uh, as I think some people know, I'm retiring soon, so I'll just catch the Preston, Fest, the Preston Guild, which is uh, very good. I think one of the things that really excites me about the Preston Guild uh, was the advertisements that I saw for it. And the emblem for Preston uh, is actually the lamb and the flag. And the lamb and the flag is the sign of the risen Lord Jesus Christ, the Christ who conquered the powers of evil, sin and death. And so I see uh, Christ, the risen Christ, very much at the heart of the Preston Festival. Now, I know not everybody who's going to take part in the Preston Festival would call themselves a Christian. But I believe every person is created in the image and likeness of God. I believe that deep down, Christ makes himself present in everybody. He is knocking on the hearts of everybody. And so for me, Jesus Christ is the heart of this festival. When we're really enjoying ourselves, and that's partly what the festival's about for us all to really enjoy ourselves, Christ is there at the centre of it. Now, we have a large number of Church of England churches in Preston uh, and uh, some 10, 11 years ago when Preston became a city, uh, our uh, parish church of Preston, as it was known, um, became Preston Minster and that really is the focal point, if you like, of the Anglican church in Preston. And I rejoice that we've got such enthusiastic congregations in Preston, uh, not all large congregations, but uh, it does not matter uh, whether your congregation is large or small. What matters is the depth of faith of people there and the willingness that people have to share in uh, communicating the gospel of Jesus to other people. And I do see that the Preston Festival is a real opportunity for us to share the good news of the risen Christ who is at the heart of the Preston Festival. One of the things that really has excited me about uh, Preston is the number of young people we have there. Uh, when I go to the chaplaincy at the university, um, I'm astonished at the number of young people who pass through the chaplaincy there. Um, I can't actually remember what they call the chaplaincy now. It, it, it is another name because obviously we share it with those of, uh, of other faiths and we are delighted that we share it with those of other faiths. And uh, we, the, the, the church, of course, is keen to work as far as it can with those of other faiths. Uh, but... Let us rejoice that there is the opportunity of touching so many young people during the Preston Guild uh, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I also rejoice that now, uh, during the Guild year, the churches work so closely together. Uh, recently there has been, I believe, the Preston Question. Uh, and that was churches working together. Uh, you did a Lent course with the churches working together. Uh, and of course, there was the wonderful uh, Passion Play 
uh, on Good Friday. And that is being spoken about all round the country. Uh, and uh, let us be excited that Christians now do work together. I think it was uh, 40 years ago when you had the Preston Guild that uh, you had separate processions. Uh, isn't it wonderful now that we all come together to witness to our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ? Whatever our denomination is, Christ is there uh, at the centre. He is the head of the church. He is the one that we put our faith and trust in. He is the one who has saved us by his death and mighty resurrection. 